So today I'm in the kitchen and I'm going to be surprising my family, my wife and our son are not around at the moment. They traveled somewhere and they are coming back in a few hours from now. And they don't expect to find food at home because me, I don't usually cook. But I'm going to surprise them. I'm going to be cooking katogo, typical Ugandan katogo. So guys, please don't laugh at me the way I'm going to be doing things. I'm a man and I really, really cook. So I'm going to be freestyling. We have matoke, typical Ugandan food, some matoke. And these are my spices. I have tomatoes. Let me show them to you. I have tomatoes, guys. Onions, carrot. And I have garlic here, and I have green pepper. So let us prepare. Let's go right now and chop these things up. So ladies, please don't laugh at me in case I do some funny things in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know how to cook. I'm just going to freestyle, and I hope they will like the food. So let me first organize this place here. Uh, let me put the eggs here. <coughs> Yeah, this knife is very sharp. It's very, very sharp. Let's put the food here. So we are now good to go. So I'm going to get this camera and put it here so that you can see as I'm cutting these things, guys. Let's go. But first, let me first wash this. I already washed the tomatoes. So let me wash the green pepper and the carrots here. Alright guys, I have two big onions here and let me try cutting them. These onions, man, they bring a lot of tears when you're cutting them. I grew up with my grandmother. When we were still young, we used to cook in Impalo. Yes, we used to cook. If someone cooks today, even boys, it wasn't only for girls. <laughs> Even boys would cook. So we would cook in tons. And at least I have some little knowledge about cooking, spicing food. But my wife rarely gets to see me cooking. And today I'm going to surprise her. And this knife is very, very sharp. Extremely sharp. Oh my god <laughs> that is my my eyes i'm not even completed with one onion but my eyes are already <laughs> already tearing i look disorganized in the kitchen yeah so the onions are done oh I have some tomatoes which I didn't cut. These ones, I have not finished them. Yeah, these are tomatoes. And then the onions. So I'm remaining with this carrot, garlic, and also the green pepper. So. So we are going to be chopping it in two. The carrots are done. We are remaining with green pepper and uh, the garlic. The one piece is done. So let's cut another one. So we are remaining with only the garlic cloves. So let's cut our garlic as well. Okay, so our garlic is done as well. So this is the waste. I'm going to be taking it away. I am going to be using gas down there let's go ahead and light it up before i light it up i've realized that i have to first wash this food and 
actually guys i didn't know i bought a lot of food this is a lot of food it is i think we can eat this in two days because it's too much i didn't know i bought food for five thousand matoke they were selling nine for one thousand nine matoke for one thousand so i think i bought a lot for five thousand so let me wash it and we go ahead i'm going to be washing it here from the sink so let me put in some water and pour the food in so that i can wash it i'm washing it because i'm not the one who peeled the matoke and the cavera they put in the matoke you never know what was there inside so i have to clean it as you can see I found this cavera. If I did, I would just put it in the saucepan and cook. And I find it when food is ready. So it's better you first wash your food. So after rinsing it, I'm going to leave it there for a moment. Light up the stove, the gas cooker, and also fry or cook my spices get them ready and that is going to happen i think for like one minute i also forgot to tell you about this i have some katunkuma this katunkuma is very very good it's going to be boiled and then dried and we make some powder stuff from it being that i bought a lot of food i'm going to use a bigger saucepan it's because i can't spoil it i can't throw it away so i'm going to cook the whole of it and I'm going to use this big, big, big saucepan. Um, let me first light up the gas. Okay, there we go. Let's get the saucepan. And it's there. So I'm going to wait for it to dry. Pour my cooking oil and we get going. So here is my cooking oil. So let me add my tomatoes here. So now I'm going to add Ronco and some salt. By the way, our salt is getting done. I think we have to refill this container. So this is my Ronco. Let me open it and uh, I pour some. Just this. Ba, 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 ba. And then the salt. I think this is enough. <laughs> so guys, how is it going? My spices are boiling and I'm going to be covering them with this saucepan for them to boil faster, faster. The suspense have burnt my fingers. <laughs> nice. So right now guys, I'm going to be adding some little water in my spices to boil very well and also not to burn because it is only cooking oil. So I'm pouring some water here. Very little water, very, very little water. It's 
So I'm having a small break, but these things of cooking are not easy. So let me put this stuff away. And I'm going to be enjoying some small bananas. In Luganda, we call them Mundizi. As I'm waiting for my spices to boil. Mm, yummy. Do you feel the sweetness, guys? Mm, it's very sweet. Let's enjoy this one together. This last one. Let's enjoy it together. Sweeter than cuckoo. You are sweeter than cuckoo. Lovely woman. So let's add our banana. the biggest part of it is done so right now we are waiting for our matoke to get ready the spices are done it's now boiling there in the corner let's be waiting for it guys and if you're enjoying this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also leave your thoughts about my cooking in the comment section Oh, Umeme is gone. <laughs> Welcome to Uganda. You want to bam bam? You want to deal with the big boys? So guys, Umeme is gone. Electricity is off. As I'm recording my video, can you imagine? I really don't know how I'm going to record her reaction because we don't have power. We don't have electricity. So right now, Umeme is back and these people are also back. My family is back. And let's take on our food before we test it, guys. So here we go. This is how my katogo looks like. This is how my madoke looks like. I think it looks yummy. Wow. I can't wait to see their reaction. Mm. Typical Ugandan katogo. This food is usually eaten in the morning as breakfast with some uh, bienda, animal intestines chopped chopped and then boiled together with the matoke looks nice yeah, yeah. yeah. looks yummy yeah it looks yummy okay time to eat katogo yeah katogo katogo mm -hmm. i'm super excited about this okay so one is for me one is for her and then our son is left. Yama, yeah, I'm going to give you little food. <laughs> Do you want me to make a revenge? I don't think you will like it. So if you want to be a very big and calm, does it look appetizing? Of course. Yummy, 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 yummy. So, guys, she's going to test a little bit and we see. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised you were able to actually make this. Mm. Looks yummy. Which one is mine? Where should I even start? You <laughs> work. <laughs> but I want to give you an honest review. Okay. Give me an honest reply. 
but it has to be nice. <laughs> wow, well done, guys. I just came home to a, a, a cooked meal. You know, I wasn't around it. Wow, wow. Have your sofa, man, who can cook. <laughs> It's not the first time, but uh, after a long time. Because we used to cook this at home, as I said earlier in the video, you were not around. I told them but I grew up with my grandmother and we used to cook such food and we used to do it in turns. Yeah. Even boys. Yeah, I remember that. Yes. But it is good. You did an amazing job. Uh, I hope Manuel is going to like it as well. Okay. Yeah, you did an amazing job. I want to eat more. Okay. So this is this for our son. Yeah, this is for Manuel. Mm. At least this is good. This is mine also. Yeah. Mm. Alright. Let's eat, guys. Let's take our food and eat. So, guys, I also want to have your honest opinions about my preparation of this meal. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comment section. If you do here, you don't yet subscribe. Click the subscribe button, the button, the button, so you never miss a video. Really? Yeah.